Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the morning session of day 25 of 28 Days to a New Consciousness. And we begin, of course, right now, hosted here live on the Awaken the World page. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So Kelly was a little slow uh, popping down this morning, and uh, I am... Uh, just changing the last little uh, graphic here that I need. <laughs> and we'll pop back that back up. That's great. So, good morning, good morning, of course. And uh, we're going to talk this morning. I see that Carol's here. Good morning, Carol. So nice to see you. Good news, I hear when spring does show up, it's going to come really quick. So that's just fantastic. That's great. And uh, this morning, we're going to talk about working with ego because, you know, really what we're talking about is raising consciousness and, and consciousness occurs at all different levels. And really, you can think of what we're doing is getting the small mind to meet up with the big mind. And of course, the big mind is creation itself, the creator, God, that sea of consciousness. And the little mind of God is our egoic mind. And we don't have a lot of control out of that uh, little egoic mind on a day-to-day -day basis. There are some things you can do, though, to help restore control. Now, uh, oh boy, Carol says minus 36 Celsius with a chill. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> Actually, we're pretty cold, too. We're about minus 20 this morning. Uh, no wind, though, so that's, that's uh, definitely a break. But you are closer to the Rockies than we are. Not by much, but by a little bit. <laughs> Carol and, and uh, Kelly and I live on opposite sides of the Rocky Mountains uh, here in Canada. Actually, it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's a long walk over the mountains. So uh, how do you, you know, deal with ego? And uh, we, we understand the ways like meditation, obviously, mantras, the breath. But all those things are designed to bring you back to a pl place of presence with meditation showing you the machinations of what's going on in there, the, the what's actually happening, all the twists and turns. So there's a few ways you can work with ego in your day-to-day -day life when you don't have time to meditate. You know, this includes the conscious breath and using the conscious breath. But one of the things about ego is, and, and I've said this to many people, in including Kelly, that if you don't like something, force yourself to do it anyways. Now, obviously, I'm not talking about things that are harmful. But if you find that it rises in your mind that you don't want to, like in my example right now, I'm stripping, well, all the T-bar is gone, and I'm fixing up the insulation, doing some wiring, getting things properly laid up out in the basement ceiling. And then I'm going to uh, put pine board all over it. You know, on a daily basis, things come up. My leg is sore, I'm not in the mood, whatever the egoic case may be. Your ego will drive you to not want to do something, to resist or push up against doing something. Because the ego spends a lot of time in a state of resistance. So in order to help bring that around, what we do is we practice the opposite of that. So as soon as the ego resists, you go ahead and do it anyways. And again, I'm not talking about those things which may be considered harmful or bad for your health. I'm talking about recognizing your egoic resistance to life itself and then do it anyway. Now, the first couple times you do this, your mind's going to be screaming at you. It really will. Because there's a big part of it that doesn't want to be doing it. But if you can push through that and allow yourself to actually just go ahead and do it based simply on the fact that your ego didn't want to. Believe it or not, the mind learns very quickly that if it's going to judge something negatively in your experience, that you're going to go ahead and action that just to show it otherwise. Now, that doesn't mean that some of the things that you're going to experience aren't going to turn out poorly. Sometimes the ego is dead on. It's going to say, you know, I don't want to do that, and here's the list of reasons why. 
as long as it's not harmful and, and doing anyone else any harm, go ahead and do it anyways and see what happens to mind. Because the one thing about ego is it puts up a very big fight up front. But if you can get by that very big upfront fight, ego doesn't fight for long. Once the task is already underway, once things are already in motion, the ego will flip into its more useful mode of being, and that is, is assist the intention. And you may still find thoughts come up about not wanting to do it. You know, it could be as simple as the dishes. When you look at the pile of dishes sitting there and you say to yourself, I don't want to do those dishes now. That being the trigger, you get up and go do the dishes. Over a very short period of time, you will notice that the ego is not quite so loud or quite so quick to jump up and say it doesn't want to do something. Because it's very easily trained and it knows that the more it resists, the more you're going to jump headfirst right in. So this is really it for this morning. A simple little tool to practice today. Whenever you find yourself pushing up through ego, whether it's the dishes, writing a letter, finishing some laundry, going to work, getting some exercise for yourself, taking some self-care, some self-love, whatever the case may be. Whenever you see that resistance, use that resistance as a trigger to walk right through anyways. Very good technique and really will assist you in helping to calm that mind. So it's Monday, so we're going to have a live meditation tonight on the Awaken the World page here. Another beautiful mantra-guided meditation to help with this process of letting go of the small self. And of course, we look forward to seeing you for the evening session of Day 25 of 28 Days to a New Consciousness. Much love from Kelly and I, and have a beautiful, warm day.